All right, well, we have put in our heels, our furthest heel, and all the little ones in between. Now I'm going to show you a little technique that I, that I came up with. I'm sure a lot of other people have too, but it works real well for me to give the illusion of there being trees on these hills. We've already put some trees in here by tapping our brush like this, and that gives us a little bit of stand. These are up a little closer, so a little more uh, in your face, so they look a little more like trees. But all I've done is just pick up a little bit of my Mars Black, a touch of my burnt sienna, and I put it on my brush and given it almost a dry effect. I haven't got it soaked and I haven't got a lot on there. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to try this. I'm going to tap this in, pick up a little more, and the bristles should give the illusion of trees on this hill. I'm doing it right. And that's how simple it is. Dry it off a little bit. Come back in here and going right over top of my snow. And this gives you a linear effect on the hill with leaving some of the white. It makes it look like you've got trees, small trees off in the distance on this hill. See how simple that is? I'm just laying it on it, popping it down, just like this. And you can see I'm a little clearer down here where you've gotten into your white. And I'm coming over here, and I'm doing the same thing, like that. And use the edge to kind of give me a little bit of height on a couple of these. The rest of them are far enough and off in the distance that I don't really have to do that. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and just lightly wipe off the excess from the trees and this should give you the effect of trees on this hill I hope enough so you can tell anyway I'm just just laying my brush down all right round that out a little bit I think we're done with that. Yeah.